Good morning, folks. The mid-watch lull is over as more rumbles in Greece and a Cali four-pointer challenged the West Pacific to roll the dice. A deep tremor took place way beneath Vanuatu, and per the Twitter update this morning, there will be no tsunami with the 6.5. Lots of great articles today. First, we found life alive in the ice for the first time. This has tremendous implications for the dozens of icy moons in our solar system and outside, and for the ice at the poles of Mars. Don't you just love star water? We've looked at sharks, birds, dogs, insects, and now we have proof that salmon, too, use Earth's magnetic field for daily activities and navigational survival. Must be the high midichlorian count. Not so good to get high counts of pollution. We're in Puerto Rico here, and if you pay attention, you know that the health effects of pollution are a totally different story from the climate lies put thereon. But those health effects should make us change the game. Good article. Quick ice update. Status quo? Arctic ice up north is breaking its back just to stay within two standard deviations below the long-term average. Meanwhile, down south, the Antarctic ice is staring at the average and the two deviations line in his rearview mirror with high ice records being broken almost monthly. Let's swing that into the weather watch. Starting out west in the U.S. where the drought conditions have rained for quite long enough. The good news is that yesterday's report of the splitting lows in the Pacific will shift the moisture drive to the west coast of the U.S. and fortify the southwest dumping zone for water vapor that we mentioned as well. It's getting a stronger pattern to that today, driving the storms and rain directly at the coastline. Not sure you can avoid the precipitation out west today. Looking south, the main pressure systems race around the polar region faster than anywhere else in the world and the lows there always rival the power of the lows we're watching near Europe the last few weeks. Looking at New Zealand, the North Island will see the remnants of the tropical storm today, but as has been the case for days, the rain up in northern Australia is driven by the larger low and the top watch for that area today. Europe is last but not least, and yes, that's another system. This one is the most powerful surface pressure affecting the northern hemisphere, driving counterclockwise and sucking in with a true convergence tail this time warm and cold meeting unlike before where double lows just circled the air around. Both ACE and SOHO are showing fairly benign solar wind. Couple density variations have the KP off the floor but still quite low. After three days of declining flares, the departing active regions are giving us some goodbyes. Sunspot number is in the 200s today. We can't seem to come close to X range. The spots are still big and complexing but heading off the disk there. Interestingly, after the M flare this morning, our magnetic connection to the sun jumped to center disk. I've kept all the planets on there and labeled them as an FYI. Incoming active regions are all growing slowly. None made a play for power among the group like I thought they would. Perhaps it'll happen today. I'm looking for umbral development and spreading. No Earth-facing eruptions in the last day as the coronal hole exits. I can only hope we've had all the quakes we're going to get during this uptick. Our watch has now seen seven big quakes in 13 days compared to only four in the previous 50. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 625 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.